Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will explain the wiring and software setting for interfacing MAC3 controller with short circuits Plasma TSC in Plasma CNC. First, let's understand a bit about MAC3 controller. It has a parallel port on one side and need to be powered from a USB. It also has a pin to connect a stepper motor for X, Y and Z axis. 5 input pins, relay output, PWM output and 12 volt input pin. The USB input powers the relay and motor output pins. Whereas the external 12 volt is needed if we want to use the input pins. And since we will connect the TSC via these input pins, this 12 volt supplies is also used here. This is the short circuits plasma TSC. It can work with any CNC controller that supports up, down and arc OK signals. It has two parts. One is the main TSC driver module which connects to the MAC3 controller and gives the up down signals. And other is the TSC probe which is connect near the plasma source and sense the plasma voltage. These two are connected via this optical cable so that they are perfectly isolated. Here are two 12 volt supplies, one for each. The overall connection diagram that we are going to follow look like this. Here is our TSC driver which will connect to the MAC3 controller through the input pins. We will use this power supply to power it. And this is the TSC probe which will connect to the plasma source and these two will be connect through the optical cable. Optical cable is used here because a proper voltage isolation is required between the plasma source and the rest of the electronics. With the optical cable here, there is no chance of any voltage spikes or noise to get the controller or other electronics and damage it. Since this MAC3 controller works only with a parallel port, you will need a PC which has a parallel port. Let's set up the MAC3 software first. Make sure your system is running a 32-bit Windows OS 7 or 8. You can check your system configuration in My Computer Properties tab. Next download and install the MAC3 software. Click Next. You will be asked to install a parallel port driver. Click next here and then finish. During installation of parallel port driver, if you get this error message, please check whether your OS is 32 bit or not. Once Mac 3 is installed, you will see all these icons on desktop. Of these three, we will use Mac 3 Plasma application and other ones are for mailing and turning. Now we will configure the MAC3 software for Plasma CNC. Run the MAC3 Plasma software. For most of the setting, we will follow MAC3 controller's user manual, which I have opened here. So first go to config and set default units for setup. Click OK. Here I have set it to mm. Next go to config, ports and pins. In the first tab you will have to set your parallel port address which is usually the default value already shown here. For kernel speed also the default value is usually correct. Rest of the parameters don't need to be changed. Now go to the motor options. Here you will have to set your motor pins and since you are using 3 axis, enable X, Y, Z axis and keep other disabled. For the pin values, follow the user manual, set 2, 4, 6 here, 3, 5, 7 here. You may have to check or uncheck the step and direction active low options according to your machine direction. Then click apply and your stepper motor settings are done. 
Next, go to the input settings. This is the main setup that is needed for TSC. We are planning to connect our TSC using these three input pins on the left. We will define the first pin that is the pin number 10 as TSC up, second pin or pin number 11 as R -OK, and third pin or pin number 12 as the TSC down. So in the input setting tab, we will enable TSC on, TSC up and TSC down. Then set port value as 1 for these and set pin number 10 for TSC up, 10 for TSC down and 11 for TSC on. Also make these pin active low. Now your TSC settings are done. Click apply. Next go to output signals. We will be using two output signals, one for relay to turn on and off the plasma source and other to enable or disable the stepper motors. These two output settings are also defined in the user manual. Enable is pin number 14 and relay is on pin number 17. Set these values in output signal tab and click apply. In the spindle setup tab, click the disable flood mist relay options. Rest on this tab don't need to be changed. Click apply and then ok. Also go to the config and click on save settings. Please note that this is very important. Now let's test if our input output settings are correct or not. This is the Mac 3 controller that we are going to use for our plasma CNC. Now let's connect the Mac 3 controller to the PC via parallel port and power it through USB. On the main Mac 3 interface where we did all the settings earlier, click on the reset button. So your controller is active now. To test it, click on the torch on off button and if you hear this click sound, it means your relay is switched on. There is a relay LED on the controller which turns on whenever the relay is on. Here is this LED is blinking. There is a click sound from the relay whenever I press the torch on off button on the screen. So it means the relay connection is correct. Now to test whether your other settings are correct or not, you can go to the diagnostic tab. Here you can see the live state of all the input and output pins. So the state of all the input and output pins will be displayed here. As I mentioned earlier, in order for these input pins to work, you need a supply of 12 volt here. So let's first do that. I'm using this 12 volt power supply. This is your ground. This is your 12 volt. Connect these pins and turn on the power supply. This power LED will glow when 12 volt is applied. Now on the diagnostic menu, TSC up, down and torch on signals are black, meaning there is no input. This is the common pin and if you short this pin to any of input pins, that input will be activated. First short common to the first pin and on the diagnostic menu, you can see the torch up signal is now yellow. If I disconnect the common, the signal will go black again and turns yellow on connection. It means I have defined the torch up signal correctly. Repeat the same process with the second pin. The torch on pin is activated on connection and it's gone on disconnecting. It means 
that torch on pin is defined correctly. Follow the same step for the torch down pin. This is how you will verify the MAC3 settings for TSC. Now that we have tested the relay and the TSC input pins, we will connect the TSC to the MAC3 controller and test it. We will follow this connection diagram as I explained earlier. This is the soft circuits plasma TSC. Let's open the box. This is an optical cable, two 12 volt power supply, TSC driver and TSC probe module. We will connect this TSC probe and 12 volt power supply later. First, let's connect the TSC driver with the Mac3 controller. These are the torch up, arc and down pins, which we will connect to the input pins here. This is the port for 12 volt supply. We can use the same power supply to power the Mac3 controller and the TSC driver. The four signal of TSC driver that is ground, up, arc ok, down will connect to the Mac3 common up, TSC on and down pins. I am using a 4 wire ribbon cable here. The wire connection with the TSC is done. Before connecting with MAC3, remove the USB, disconnect the parallel port cable and switch off the 12 volt supply. Now first is ground which is connected by black wire to the common pin of input pins of MAC3. Orange wire is down, red is arc ok and brown is up signal. Let's make this connection. Connect up or brown to the topmost pin. Connect arc ok to torch on on second pin. and connect the orange wire for down signal to the third pin. To power the TSC driver, connect the 12 volt here. TSC will turn on and show disconnect since TSC probe is not connected right now. Then connect to the parallel port Apply the USB power. And open the diagnostic menu. You can see there are no signals on TSC up, down and arc ok. For testing the TSC driver, long press this button and setting menu will open. Rotate the knob to go to the last item on the list that is test and press the button. A test menu will open with three options, torch up, down and arc ok. When you push the button on torch up, TSC will send a signal torch up pin 
and on selecting torch down option signal will be sent on torch down pin and similar will be sent on R cookie option. Let's go to the torch up and press the button. And on the diagnostic menu, you can see the yellow box on torch up pin. When you release the button, the signal will go away. And on pressing again, the signal is here. Test the TSC down signal similarly that the yellow box is display on the button press. And same for the arc OK or torch on signal. Now select exit on test menu and press. And select exit from the main menu also and exit to the main screen. And with this, the wiring, software setup and testing of the TSC with Mac 3 is done. I will add links to the document mentioned in the video and wiring diagram in the description box. This is it for this video. In next video, I will explain the TSC probe connection and how the TSC sense and maintain a constant height in Plasma CNC. Thank you for watching and if you have any question, let us know in the comment section.